It's been a real labour of love. I couldn't have imagined how the property would look with everything we've invested into it. It didn't look like this when we arrived, it was fully rendered. So that was day one, so rendering off to go back to the brick. And then sort of, yeah, done pretty much everything rewired, built this extension on the extension above. I mean, everything is different. The thing that we actually bought the house for was the garden, not the house. We worked with some landscapers and it's actually modelled on Newby Hall. So you've got the herbaceous bit, then you've got the tropical part we're supposed to be with herbs, and then you've got the wild garden down the bottom. It's a very easy garden, just a little bit of a cut back October and then weeding, so it doesn't take long at all. It's a really relaxing place to, to be. All of the wallpapers are Farrell and Ball. Um, all the colours are related to the thistle. And the idea of this room was to very much make it into two separate areas. So you've got the cosy area around the TV with the fireplace, which we've had pears carved into it. So again, it's all in within keeping and have again the view of the garden. We built this on a later date with again more views, but it's very much a guest suite, but a private guest suite with featuring down very light, but featuring down into the garden. So you've got that long, lovely view. For me, this is just a personal lovely space because you've got the big bath and I love the molten brown and this is Sunday bath night. So a whole sort of experience of how you feel in it. So this is the main bedroom, a really nice view. It's really light and airy, but a nice view onto the churchyard. And then we put an ensuite in just to give sort of extra luxury, I suppose, to it. Wooden floors, but again, very much um, a guest suite with fitted wardrobes are just handy for the guests to have, to have that extra space. It's a really nice inclusive house, but also it's nice separate spaces. And that's what we decided to do in the other area, which we call the snug. We did have this as a dining room and it could go back to being a dining room, but we only used it once a year. So it was just really nice to have that extra area to sit. It's just a, a lovely, great space. So you've got a big kitchen that's really well equipped. All the appliances are hidden. So you've got a large fridge, freezer, washing machine, obviously you need a wine fridge, and then the big um, double range, which is really, really useful to have a double oven and a grill for steaks and plus all the, the normal hobs, but yeah. I think what doesn't convey on the video is the, the village life. So the pub's a couple of doors away, then you can walk into Borough Bridge where you've got doctors, dentists, everything's really accessible in walking distance and it's a really nice walk. It's got a really nice feeling village, you know, the people are really friendly. Some people have lived here a lot of years, um, some people are new to the village and it's just got a, quite a nice mixed vibe to it. We've got a lovely village green which is where we'll have social events, so there's a barbecue, there's all sorts of things that bring people to meet each other. And I think what you've got here is the fantastic sort of village life, but still in a an old property that we've renovated with love and care. If you'd like to learn more about Pear Tree House, then you'll find more information in the description. If you could like the video at the end, that would really help me sell my house, so thank you.